you. Okay, well, now it's time for a segment we do called Law Hammer or Your Hammer. A foolish game where Tom and I tell each other two tales of Warhammer lore. One is 100% accurate lore hammer. The other is made up nonsense your hammer. Wow. But which is which? You decide. You decide. Um, I've got two very quick ones. Perfect. Well, you go first. Okay. Because I've got two very special ones for you today, Ben. Oh, okay. Are you familiar with the wolf hen? Yeah, they should be purged as fucking mutants. Yep. Mutant, heretic, horrible, Astartes. Like, I still feel very uncomfortable about the fact that this yeah. can be in a fucking Space Marine Legion. Yeah. That should be shut down You could have this on the battlefield in the same army as an Inquisitor and everything's fine. Yeah, that... <laughs> That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right at all. Like, if I was an Inquisitor, I'd be like, oh, that was a great battle, everyone. High five. I'm not high fiving you, but uh, we're just going to get on our ship. Okay, fucking exterminate us now. <laughs> yeah, There's... Space Wolves, I need you to just go over there for the next two days. Yeah. Hold, Do... hold up. <laughs> fucking bomb them. Nick yeah. them from orbit. Jesus, yeah. these guys deserve to fucking die. Uh, yeah. So my, my two Lawhammer Your Hammers this week are about dumb names in Warhammer. Oh, fuck. Okay. Which is a true dumb name, which is a made-up dumb name. Oh, shit. Okay. So the Wolfen oh, no. are named after one of Lehman Russ's first, like, savage nomad companions to be made into a space marine. Okay. When he gave him the gene seed, the it was revealed that he had, like, a dark... Um, okay, not this one. What's the other one? <laughs> A, like a dark ambition and was was jealous of Lehman Russ mm. and so that meant that when he took the gene seed his evil nature came out and he turned into like a wolf monster mm -hmm. and his name was Wolfen and so now it is known as the curse of the Wolfen okay because Mr. Wolfen turned into a Wolfen and now okay. all Wolfen are Wolfen okay I thought it was going to get worse but, <laughs> no, I, you know what sure that sounds kind of kind of dumb for Games Workshop but Space Wolves do have some of the worst naming conventions <laughs> in the entire game. And so, yeah. God, you could just spin the wheel. Um, okay, right. Is it just named okay. after Jeff Wolf? <laughs> yeah, not because it's a Nordic-sounding name for a wolfman. No, no, no. Because the first man to wolfen was Mr. Wolfen. Of course. Um, One second. I just want to see this model. Yeah. Is that like an official That's wolf? Oh, God, it's horrible. Yeah, oh. it's on GW's website. Do you remember the, the original Wolfen models were not these abominations? They really... Oh, those are conversions. Yeah, what um, were the original... The original ones were these boys. So, it was weird that they painted them, like, super dark. It made them way more, like, um, werewolfy. Yeah. Way more, um... American werewolf, werewolf in, in London. London. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is the, the vibe. Um, I just prefer these guys. They're less monstery. But anyway. Okay, so, right. Are they a Wolfen called Wolfen because of Gary Wolfen? <laughs> yeah. Gary, because he had evil in his heart dick when Wolfen. he took. And then, then that's why he turned bad, because if you're a dickhead, then you turn bad. Um, also, one, yeah. Second. Yeah. one second. One second. One second. Uh, I'm pretty sure the mechanism of the fucking chainsaw... <laughs> With the teeth in it. You can't just pull out a chain link and put a tooth in. <laughs> no. That well, shit fucking... That's not going to go all the way around, is it? That jams or breaks <laughs> immediately. Yeah. It's actually quite a fine mechanism, uh, yeah. a chainsaw. Uh, you just fucked up your chainsaw, my dude. Maybe it's not a chainsaw anymore. Maybe the mechanism already broke and he's just hacking with it. Oh, uh, that would make sense. Just a cleaver. Real bad I'd, cleaver. Yeah, I'd be fine, fine with that. Does he look like a man who can keep a delicate machinery running? No. This guy's fixed his bolt gun by fucking strapping it up. God, what a bad thing! Why is that now? <laughs> like, yeah, sure it does, Jeff. Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> okay, it's not working. I'm killing them all! <laughs> okay, just leave him to it. He'll, 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 he'll it tire later. himself out. <laughs> fucking Wolfen, these nerds. Okay. Okay, you familiar with the Hell Blaster Volley Gun? Yeah! Not named the Hell Blaster Volley Gun because it blasts hell. Mm -hmm. Named after Baron Von Hell who was deciding one day that he wanted to do more shooting. He was shooting, um, what are they called? Like, he was doing pigeon shooting. 
Mm-hmm. And he was like, this is rubbish. I have to get my butler to get me a new gun every time I shoot. So he had his, and he, like, what's the word? He was like a patron of the engineers. And he okay. said, I want a gun that shoots more. And then they made, like, a little one, and then a bigger one, and then finally, Hell's Blaster Volley Gun. So good, they named it after him. Okay. And it specifically mentions that Baron Von Hell never fought a vampire. Oh, that's sad. Um, okay. That, you see, that one, that one makes a lot of sense. Which, therefore, maybe makes it less likely to be true. Mm. Um, the, also, like, Hell, H-E-L. Mm. That's a name that comes up a lot in the Warhammer world. Um, like, in the Empire. And so it sounds real plausible. Um, and yeah. Look, it's only one L in Hellblast. Yeah, that's it. Um, so I can, can definitely believe it's named after Hellblaster or Hell, Van Hell, Baron Van Hell. Sure, that all super makes sense. And there's been a lot of years that that could have appeared in one Empire book or a supplement or a description somewhere. Mm. But it maybe makes too much sense. And Wolfen being named after just. Gary the Wolfen. Um, that one annoys me more. <laughs> right. And so I'm going to say Wolfen is true just because I think there's a bluff here. Like, I think this one makes too much sense. And I do believe this one more, but I think mm. you're playing a game with me, Ben. Ooh, I think you're, trying to trick you're getting me. meta with it. But maybe there's a double bluff. But I'm, I'm going to say Wolfen is real. But uh-huh. Pete Wolfen, um, <laughs> yeah. whatever the fuck his name was, that is true. And they, they, that's why they call it the Wolfen Cuss. Although, would it? Oh, God, no, because that's dumb. You're trying to arc and land me. <laughs> yeah. They're both an Ark and Land, let's be honest. Yeah, but this one makes more sense. Because Wolfen, they're wolf men. They're, they've got mm. like a wolf sort of vibe. That is just the way you could describe them. Mm. That is now weird that that's actually named after a guy. Mm. Whereas the Hellblast, the Volley Gun, that makes complete sense. Because if it's named after Baron Von Hell, and it's his blaster... Because a Hell Blaster isn't a term. Mm. That is not a, a thing. Unless, you know... If, if it was like a chaos cannon, <laughs> yeah, and oh, you, and it shot sh- like it, hell it energy, shot things from hell. Yeah, yeah that, okay. You'd be like, okay, it's called that, a, hell that blaster is a hell blaster because yeah. of that. Whereas this makes more sense. But as we all know, chaos hell cannons come out of the ass. <laughs> that comes out of the ass. <laughs> That's like they're ass cannons. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're so, ass blasters. So I feel, I feel like there's, there's, you're, you're tricking me. Either oh. it is, you're trying to play up the Ark and Lands thing because it is dumb. I'm going to stick with the Wolfen thing, because otherwise I'm going to go in circles. I do believe this one more than mm. it could have just appeared. But I'm, gonna, I'm picking Wolfen as my choice, because final answer? I hate it. <laughs> and it's stupid. Yeah. Well, Tom, I can tell you that you're right! Hooray! Um, oh, man. <laughs> now, the, I, I was worried about this one, because I thought you might remember what the hell Blaster Volley Gun's real naming thing comes from no um because it has a dumber name um oh, oh no it's not on the total war one does uh, it fire uh, hell energy and no it is it's old dumb name it didn't always used to be called the hell blaster it used to be called what oh jeez okay hang on. There's, a, there's a wiki hell blaster volley gun wiki um this one. Oh. Um, it was originally called um, Von Mein Kopf's Verling Cavalcade of Death. Oh, shit. And Von Mein Kopf's Micro Mainspring of Multitudinous Precipitation of Perniculous Lead. Yeah. <laughs> and so they shortened it <laughs> because that's a dumb name. Um, so I thought you might remember that big stupid name that it used to have. Oh, fuck, it's from 4th Ed Fantasy Roleplay. Uh, yeah, okay, now I do remember that. The 
uh, it being called a thing like that. Um, but I didn't remember, so fuck you. <laughs> you I, just, you just got my bluff. I was convinced you were going to go. I hate the wolf thing. The other thing sounds more plausible. I'm picking the one I want to be true. Yeah, but <laughs> I caught on to you this time. You knew. You could feel my game. I could feel feel the uh, was, scheming. Was the wolf there. and two, ba two bait, two anti Tom? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was kind of thinking like, which one would you have made up? And I, mm. I'm going to say that was a huge 50-50, just like spin the wheel on which one I would have gone for. Mm. And it was more betting that you were going to try and play me with the goofy one than yeah. the like straighter one. Um, but yeah. Gary, Gary Wolfen. Gary Wolfen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, uh, of course, because Wolfen isn't just like a good enough Norse name yeah. for Wolfman. Fuck it. We've got to stick a dumb name reference in there. Yeah. Are they doing it on purpose, Tom? I think they Do are. they think it's cool, or are they just trying to wind us up? I, th I think it's just someone gets to write something in later, and they get to put their mark on it. It's like middle management writing. <laughs> right. Uh, what's the old lexicanum? Yeah. Sadly, I don't think he had a first name. I think his name was just Wolfen. Oh. Um, oh, the Wolf Here we go. They take their name. Chieftain of Fenris, who was the first to accept his offer to become a space marine, but because of his secret ambition and jealousy, oh. it turned him into a monster. Wow. But, yeah, Gary Wolfman. Gary Wolfman. Okay. Uh, so. Um... Oh, Ark and Land! Hooray! Ark and Land. Perfect. This is exactly going to demonstrate what I'm after. Mm -hmm. So, your boy, Arkan Land. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a cool tech guy. And he, oh, yeah. He makes the best things. Uh, and he techs around. Mm -hmm. um, but he has a little pet monkey called Sapien. Mm. Are you familiar with Sapien, his monkey, Ben? I know he's a robo-monkey. Um, ah, there's a term. It's because he isn't a real monkey. Mm -hmm. Because monkeys haven't existed for thousands of years. But he's got, he's still got like meat. Mm. He's still got meat in him. Mm. Um, and uh, so Arkenland, uh, he's going on this like little adventure. They're mm -hmm. going through the webway mm -hmm. and he is hanging out. He's got some cool dudes around him. Okay. And there's a space marine and mm -hmm. the space marine comes over to talk to Arkan Land, because Arkan Land, he's a smart guy and he knows what's going on. Oh, yeah, of course. And the uh, little monkey hops on the space marine, and mm -hmm. the space marine is like, is your monkey going to piss on me? Right. And Arkan Land has like a big internal monologue of like, what a weird question to ask. I understandable, you're a space marine. Um, but... Of course, it won't piss on you, not since, uh, you know, its bowels were removed <laughs> and it produces uh, gel sack <laughs> deposits. Um, I mean, to be fair, if I was a master inventor tech priest and I had a robo monkey, I'd, I'd replace its pooper with gel sacks. Um, sure. Uh, also, since it had pooped in the Archimagos' hood. <laughs> And all he says to the Space Marine is, no, it's not going to. <laughs> and that is it. But uh, so Arkenland's monkey, at some point, Pooped it in, had, in his boss's hat. Uh, he has changed its gutty works since the incident <laughs> with the Archimagos' hood, which I'm saying is it pooped, pooped in the Archimagos' hat. <laughs> so it didn't explicitly state that, but it certainly... There's no nothing it's, it's else you could the, infer from it. They're talking about this thing not having um, pooping holes. Yeah. Uh, and oh my god, that if now, was, if you got rid of it because of this incident, to me, fuck, that means he pooped. Okay, I'm. Oh. Now I know he's got a robot monkey that he's heavily augmented, and 
I have listened to the audiobook of The Master of Mankind. This, 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 is, from, here, this which, is from there. It sounds like it's from that book. It literally is. Because I can't there's tell a you bit you... where he's in the webway yeah. and he's hanging out with this blood angel yeah. who's had his hands chopped off. I do not remember that. Um, I, only, I only read like two paragraphs of this to get the full context of this one scene. Uh, but the problem is, I listened to this book when I was flying to America and back. Fly it to America. And I fell asleep quite a lot on that flight. Uh-oh. And I didn't always remember how far back I'd gone. I've missed, like, random chunks of this book because I was just sleeping. Fuck. Um, I feel like I'd remember a pooping incident. But this was long before your hammer or your hammer. Before we had to keep a vigilant eye. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't on the lookout for poop stories back then. Out for... In fact, if anything, I was trying to minimise <laughs> the, the poop in my, lo- my yeah, war hammer. You were a game where you actively look out for garbage, <laughs> stupid yeah. stories. I was like mentally blocking out the dumbest shit because I didn't want to think the things I was enjoying were dumb. Um... Ooh, what else you got for me? What's the alternative? Okay, well, the other is the Magma Droth. Ah, the new, like, fire kin troll muslayamans. Uh, yeah, but also... Fire belly. Is that going to bring up? Nice. Oh, yeah. How do I du- dual screen? You drag the thing to the other side. What? I'll let you do it. You go like... I don't boop. want to get my boomer hands involved. In, um... Okay, yeah. so... Right. Ogre fire bellies. Mm-hmm. They're cool guys. Yeah. They're chefs. Okay. Or so they do some cooking. Of course, because everyone, everyone gets to cook. All the ogre spellcasters are cooks, but these gut magic. But the um, the fire bellies, mm. they like their food a little spicier, <laughs> and so they'll you know they'll put a uh, fucking dragon's balls in mm. Mm, spicy. Mm. They'll put um, salamanders, spit glands, ooh, ooh. spicy, um, or. They'll use a magma droth's flame gullet. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, and they'll put that into the food. And the ogres, who normally just yeah. have big, meaty stews, mm-hmm. they get into the spicy gumbo that the fire belly produces. Yeah. But sometimes with explosive <laughs> diarrhea results. That's right. We've got a two for on the it's poop It's a stories. double pooper! We've got a double pooper, then. <laughs> oh, One of these poop stories is going to be true. Oh, my God. Does him using the magma droth mm-hmm. in his meals cause ogres to explosively shit themselves? <laughs> oh, I want it to be true. And they, they do it, do they know that? Do they eat it anyway? Or is it like a surprise? And they never eat it again? Or are they just like, it's worth it? Yeah, I think like, I'd say, because normally they just have these like big, big stews. Mm. Getting a bit of like, ooh, spicy heat. Because, you know, this guy, he's got like a more, uh, mm, I guess he doesn't, palate. he doesn't poop himself, the guy cooking it. He's, he's a spicy boy. No, he loves that shit. He's king of the spices. It's all yeah, of he the... can handle it. But the regular ogres, mm. if all you've had is just beef stew, yeah. and then suddenly you have the hottest fucking curry in the world, yeah, you're probably going to have a poopy, poopy, <laughs> poopy instant later. <laughs> yeah, of course. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let me... Mm. This one feels weird because most of the ogre lore is from, Age of, is from Warhammer. And these things didn't come out until Age of Sigma. I guess there has been an ogre book for Age of Sigma, I assume. Can't remember. Yes. There must have been. Yeah. Um, did it come out after this? But then it could be in the dwarf book. Do these guys still exist? Are oh, they on the Games Watcher web store? Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Most poop stories come from pretty old lore. And for this to be true, like this is within the last like four or five years because that model's only that old. So new poop stories, questionable. But actually, we had a Sigvald near poop story 
only a couple of weeks ago. And we had a, we had a Trumpin story just <laughs> recently too. And those were both new law. Yeah, Games Workshop are bringing it back, man. They're, they're bringing the poops back. <laughs> yeah. They need to do something to keep people like us involved in the, in <laughs> yeah. the world. You've got to cater for every kind of fan. <laughs> and uh, Including the weird fucking assholes. Poop, poopy poop stories. Uh, yeah, you need those. Oh, my God. I mean, ogres are a bit goofy. You know, they're only a little bit less goofy than orcs. Mm. So it could, it could be true. Arkan Land, also quite a wacky character. Like, he's usually, like, kind of light relief in any story he's in. Um, so they both could have poop stories. Um, since you got so excited by me mentioning the book that I'd read, that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> I, I said I'd read this book and it sounds like it's from this book and you were like, yes, it's from this book! <laughs> <laughs> you got so excited. I think that was, I, I think that was a, a little subtle tell. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't, so based on that and the fact that I cannot risk it being from a book I've read. Yeah, yeah. Because the last time you pulled a poop story from a book I'd read, I said it wasn't true. And it was. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> for those two reasons, <laughs> I'm going to go with Arkan Land's monkey poop is true, and Ogre Fire Poopy Pants Diarrhea is not true. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, holy shit. Um, you're wrong! What? It isn't from that book. <laughs> I made it up then. No! There isn't a fucking poop story in that book that you've read. <laughs> I was just excited that you'd read it, because I was like, ooh, this is like a tiny thing that you could overlook it and i thought Ooh, maybe this is gonna... especially that book that i've probably only read about 70 percent of because i slept uh, so much yeah. on that flight um so the monkey does oh. have like a little gel deposit oh okay but he did not poop in the magos's hood oh shit um whereas the magma droth uh i'll read you i'll read you the passage <laughs> shit. um here we go uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Fire blowlies have mastered the art of adding spice to their meat. Seasoned hunks of spit roasted flesh with salamander scales or minced up magma droth glands and other delicious flavors. For ogres used to hearty stews cooked up by butchers, these mouth scalding blends are a rare delicacy, although on occasion can cause some unfortunate gastric detonations. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shit, what, where's that from? Uh, so it is from the Ogre Book. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess that, it came out after the, the uh, Fire Boys did. Well, I think they got a shit Ogre Book um, that is, was like... Oh, it like came out like six months after Age of Sigma came out kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like no new um, models, just this is how to use your existing stuff. Yeah, yeah literally that. Oh, uh, no, they got the um, that one new... Ogre. Oh, there's like pirate. an ogre tyrant. I the one that has the spear. Yeah, like that's that the, the only model they've had since old Warhammer. Since fucking seventh third. Actually, yeah. no. I guess these guys came out in eighth. Yeah, and the big mammoths came out in eighth. Yeah. Well. Um, but yeah. So. Wow, you got me with the with double the, pooper. <laughs> well, the thing is, you can't lose with a double pooper. <laughs> I know. It's always <laughs> a good day uh, with a double. Poop Everyone story. wins on a double poop week. Um, oh my god. So yeah, I'm. So pleased. Um, and yeah. Holy shit. Well done, sir. 